everyone, welcome back to Almost Cooking. Today I'm gonna to show you my version of spaghetti squash taco boats. These are really yummy, really great for low carb or if you're just looking to do something different. I know a lot of people are afraid of spaghetti squash, but don't be, it is so, so good. So let's just jump right into it and, and get started. So you're gonna to wanna to start by cooking your spaghetti squash. So I just cut it down the middle and cut side down. I put it in a baking pan in the oven about 375 for about 45 minutes. And on the side, I have just cooked up some ground beef or ground turkey, ground chicken, whatever you want, using your favorite taco seasoning. This just happens to be the one that I'm using by Tastefully Simple. Now you can use whatever toppings you like. I'm just using some lettuce, tomato, black beans, canned corn, cilantro, of course, y'all know I love that, black olives, I just have some shredded Mexican cheese, salsa, and plain Greek yogurt. You can use whatever toppings you want. That's another thing I really like about this recipe is you can customize it. So here's your spaghetti squash after it's come out of the oven. I'm just gonna scrape the seeds out. Everything's very soft and tender right now. You could scrape the seeds out beforehand. Honestly, it doesn't really make much of a difference. So there we have our two sides totally cleaned out and now you can go ahead and start scraping it with a fork. It's gonna be really soft and easy to do, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure you leave about a, a quarter inch border so that when you're scraping, you don't break through the skin because we're gonna be refilling these again. And you can see it's gonna start turning into spaghetti shreds and you're gonna add it right to your ground meat. So then you're gonna mix the spaghetti squash and the meat together. And after you have your two sides scraped, it really does make a lot of filling. So feel free to freeze some of this for another time or save for another meal because it really does make a lot. I'm also gonna go ahead and add some extra seasoning because the spaghetti squash is pretty bland, so you could taste it as you go. Everything's cooked. So really right now, you're just gonna be filling up your squash boats. And you could add the corn and the black beans in there if you'd like. I'm just gonna go ahead and layer them. And then obviously, your tomato and your lettuce and everything is gonna go on when you take it out of the oven. So right now you're just gonna fill up both sides. And like I said, you can totally customize this recipe to however you want. You don't even have to add the meat if you don't want. You could do tofu, uh, you could leave it out completely. It's really up to you. So after you are done piling it on top there, 
you're gonna finish off by loading it up with your cheese. Now, I'm just using a Mexican blend, but I recommend anything from a cheddar to a Monterey to a pepper jack would be really good. Um, and you can really pile it on top there because it's all going to melt down. I'm just adding a little extra seasoning on top. And I'm going to throw this back in the oven. We're throwing it back in 375 for about 20, 25 minutes, maybe more. Just keep an eye on it. Like I said, everything's cooked. You're just kind of waiting for all the cheese to melt. And look at that. They are done and ready to serve. So we did cut ours in half because it is a pretty big helping. Um, and I just put my favorite toppings on top there. So I got my lettuce, my tomato, black olives, I love black olives, some salsa, and then you could use sour cream. I just happen to be using some plain Greek yogurt, but like I said, Put whatever the heck you want on top. Look at that. It's a masterpiece. Oh, but how could I forget? My goodness. Cilantro. And there we have it. Our spaghetti squash taco boats. Let me know if you try these. They're so good. They're really not that time consuming at all. And it's really great that you can customize them the way that you want. So thanks for tuning in on another episode of Almost Cooking. Again, let me know if you tried this. Let me know if there's any other versions you want me to try to make. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.